Why, well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better. And he has proven that every time he stepped into the octagon. He is well-rounded. And many say it, but this kid is well-rounded. And he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, it comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks. And health is wealth. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. Well, Hoist Gracie, he is not. Damian Maya, perhaps he is not. But a lot of people believe that we have not seen a layer jujitsu game in this division in a very long time. And I think he sold a lot of tickets coming in here tonight. John, that's me. I would have called him all those guys. I would have put him on the Mount Rushmore grapple yeah. before I even know what he can do inside the octagon. Uh -huh. But this kid, to me, when I watch him, he possesses a skill that allows for him to get submissions because he doesn't chase. He's very patient. He's patient on top, and he's patient off of his back. He can grapple anywhere, and because of that, he finds ways to end, to end fights in that manner. And he is a little bit of a specialist in this modern day, right? He doesn't like when people denigrate his striking. He has gone to great lengths to improve that part of his yep. game. But this is a BJJ practitioner. Make no bones about it, and he's going to try to get this fight to the floor early and often tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, so here we are from Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center. Sellout crowd expected here tonight, all to witness more UFC history. This venue's been good to the UFC in the past. Hopefully plenty more where that came from tonight. When you step foot in this octagon in New Jersey, you better be ready to put on the show because these fans understand what they're watching and they've been around since day one. They know a good fight when they see it and if you start trying to hold and hold it the octagon, you're ready for the boo birds to come up. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very fast with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, up the Oh, my goodness. A couple of chins here being tested early. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent. Huge shots being landed on both sides. He hurt him bad. And now a left. Rips the body. Oh, snaps his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful offering.
Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Benoit God of War Sanganer. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. They do knock out a 